Do you remember Chester Good from the classic Western TV series Gunsmoke? He was played by the late Dennis Weaver, who was one of the most prominent Western actors and had a prolific career that spanned five decades. His life is one of inspiration. He came from humble beginnings and became an icon of Western. Let's look back at Dennis Weaver's life and career and the sad reason why he was written off Gunsmoke. Dennis Weaver's Early Life and Career William Dennis Weaver was born June 4, 1924 in Joplin, Missouri. He came from humble beginnings, as his father worked for a local electric company. Show business was not a part of his background, yet from an early age he dreamt of becoming an actor. He was also a talented athlete, and as a young man he pursued drama and athletics, unsure of which was the ideal path for him. He was a track star in his youth and considered trying for the Olympics. However, he failed the trials for the decathlon in the 1948 Olympics, and that's when he realized his true destiny was to become an actor. A mention should be made of his military service during World War II. He served as a pilot in the U.S. Navy. Following his military service, he married his childhood friend Jerry Stowell and had three children with her. They remained married until his death in 2006. After deciding to pursue his career in acting, he relocated to New York to start working in theater. He began his acting career as the understudy for actor Lonnie Chapman, working on the play Come Back Little Sheba. Eventually, Lonnie stood aside and Dennis took on the role and toured with the play around the country. He loved the experience and decided to continue improving his acting skills. He eventually joined the prestigious Actor Studio to learn more about acting and to network with other talented actors. During this time, he met Shelley Winters. She helped him launch his film career. Before we tell you more about Dennis Weaver's life and career, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Dennis Weaver's Film Career Dennis's first film role was a supporting role as Dandy Taylor in the 1952 film Horizons West. This was a western that took place shortly after the Civil War. It featured a huge star cast with people like Robert Ryan, Rock Hudson, Raymond Burr, and James Arness. Yet Dennis wasn't overshadowed by these acting legends. His work was noticed, and it seemed early on that this Missouri boy was perfect for stories that took place in the Old West. He continued to act regularly in films throughout the 50s, mostly westerns. He played the supporting role of Jim Clements in The Lawless Breed. He had another supporting role as Matt Jessup in The Redhead from Wyoming. He also had supporting roles in Law and & Order and War Arrow in 1953. He ventured into other genres as well. In 1954, he had a supporting role in the film noir mystery film Dangerous Mission. He also was in the crime film Dragnet, which became the inspiration for the popular series. He showed his serious side in a few dramas. In 1955, he had a supporting role as John Brown Jr. in the film Seven Angry Men. He also had a major role in the 1955 film noir Storm Fear. This was a huge hit and helped Dennis get more lead roles or supporting roles in major productions. Perhaps one of his most famous films was the Orson Welles masterpiece Touch of Evil. He played the night manager of the Mirador Motel. This was an exciting murder mystery that starred Charlton Heston, Orson Welles, and Janet Leigh. By acting alongside these legends, Dennis Weaver was now an A-list actor. For much of his career after the 50s, he focused mainly on TV shows and TV movies. However, he continued to act in occasional films, a few of which became big hits. He starred in the family film Escape from Wildcat Canyon, released in 1998. His final film was a voice role in the 2000 animated film Home on the Range. Dennis Weaver's Television Career his first TV gig was in a 1954 episode of the drama series Cavalcade of America. A year later, he appeared in one episode of the anthology series Schlitz Playhouse. But his big break in TV came with the police drama series Dragnet. He first appeared on the show in 1952 and acted in seven episodes until 1954 when he also appeared in the feature film. He played Captain R.A. Lormit, whereas in the show he played a variety of characters. But the TV show that made him a star was Gunsmoke. He played Chester Good in 290 episodes from 1955 to 1964. Gunsmoke was a western that followed Marshal Matt Dillon, who aimed to keep the peace in the otherwise chaotic and violent Dodge City. The character of Chester Good assisted Matt Dillon and the other deputies in keeping the peace. Weaver was eager to be cast as Chester Good, as he was likely a fan of the original radio series on which the TV series was based. He initially didn't give a good impression with his first audition. He convinced the producers to give him a second chance. The second time around, he put on a strong country accent and managed to win them over. He also decided to give Chester a limp, though he later regretted this as he often felt exhausted having to limp in every scene. He decided Chester shouldn't carry a gun and should be a non-violent character. Gunsmoke is what made him a household name. 
He later was cast in the lead in the short-lived Western series Kentucky Jones. His other major TV roles included work on the series Gentle Ben, McLeod, Buck James, and Wildfire. He appeared in a series of TV movies and even made guest appearances on popular shows like Family Law, Magnum P.I., and The Simpsons. Wildfire was released in 2005 and his role as Henry was his last. Dennis Weaver's Legacy Dennis Weaver died on February 24, 2006 due to complications from cancer at age 81. He's remembered as one of the most iconic actors in the Western genre and has received praise for his work in many now-classic film noirs. But one burning question many fans have is why Dennis Weaver eventually left Gunsmoke. The show ran until 1975, but the last we saw of Chester Good was in 1964. We finally know the sad reason why. Just as he had a role in shaping Chester's demeanor, he had a role in letting go of Chester forever. He loved playing him, but also realized the danger of being stuck in one role. He knew he could get typecast and this would prevent him from getting better roles in the future. While he was happy to continue his association with westerns, he wanted to play a variety of characters regardless of the genre. It was a difficult but ultimately wise decision. Chester was written off the show because Dennis Weaver realized the sad truth that he could get typecast if he stayed in the role for too long. He wanted to avoid this. He managed to continue acting in a variety of genres in TV shows, TV movies, and a few feature films. Even when he appeared in a western, his characters were always different, never echoing his portrayal of Chester Good. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Dennis Weaver? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.